Megan, it's great to have you. you your point is largely uh, investors getting warned about a lot of stuff, right? Jackson Hole, uh, seasonality, QT, but your, your, your advice is to not get too defensive. Why? Yeah, thanks for having me, Carl. So we are fully invested, but definitely a little bit more cautious. In our diversified portfolio, we're holding excess cash levels today. And I think that just speaks to the amount of uncertainty in the environment. But getting too defensive, I think, could be a big mistake. We did see a, a nice rally uh, through the June to August period uh, as a reminder of why you don't want to be too much on the sidelines. And we do think inflation is set to slow. Um, I think it was a little bit misguided for investors to be expecting uh, too much in the way of rate cuts in 2023. We're getting some of that priced out of the market post Jackson Hole. Um, and I think that's a good thing. I think there could be vulnerability ahead, a little bit of, of volatility, certainly. But for long term investors, we still see uh, opportunity looking out over a 12 month horizon. And we don't think a recession is necessarily, um, you know, fully guaranteed at this point. Right. When the market started pricing in uh, rate cuts in the first quarter of next year, clearly now, I mean, Mester's message and Williams' message uh, yesterday was that w we could get to three and a half or four and just stay there, right? This this sort of raise and hold. Does that change the uh, the, the strategy, the playbook, or or do you try to tune out a lot of this Fed speak, basically? Well, so it's a good point. It doesn't really change our playbook. Uh, we were very skeptical of the idea that the Fed would try to be so surgical with monetary policy as to raise uh, the rate to a certain level and then just a couple months later start to cut. Um, and I think that was really, really diminishing the importance of that terminal or peak Fed funds rate. Um, for our view, we actually think that the inflation data is going to allow the Fed to be a little bit more dovish than what the market is pricing in at this point. That 4% peak Fed funds rate would be higher than we're expecting. We're expecting about three and a quarter to three and a half, actually, and then the Fed to pause. Um, but I think as we look out over you know, the next 12 months, we have to also recognize that the Fed is trying to uh, communicate, but it is ultimately going to re rely on the data. We got a constructive core PCE uh, and core CPI print for last month. That went a little bit unnoticed because of uh, the Jackson Hole speech happening on the same day. Um, and we think that we could see some moderate, more moderating inflation ahead. Of course, wages could be sticky. Housing right. could be sticky. Um, but we're watching the data closely.